Hey friends, it's your boy SVH coming at you with today's bowl of sake by Hazrat Nag Khan for June 26th. Every being has a definite vocation and his vocation is the light that illuminates his life. The man who disregards his vocation is as a lamp unlit. So I'm going to share a little commentary um, from Merchant on this and then talk about it for just a moment. Um, he says, every being has a definite vocation and his vocation is the light which illuminates his life. The man who disregards his vocation is a lamp unlit. He who sincerely seeks his real purpose in life is himself sought by that purpose. As he concentrates on that search, a light begins to clear his confusion. We find with many people that somehow they never happen to find their life's vocation. And what happens then is that they end is that in the end they consider their life a failure. All through their life they go from one thing to another, yet as they do not know their life's object, they can accomplish so little. When people ask why do they why they do not succeed, the answer is because they have not yet found their object. As soon as a person has found his life's object, he begins to feel at home in this world, where before he had felt himself in a strange world. No sooner has a person found his way than he will prove to be fortunate, because all the things he wants to accomplish will come by themselves. Even if the whole world was against him, he, he will get such a power that he can hold on to his object against anything. He will get such a patience that when he is on the way to his object, no misfortune will discourage him. There is no doubt that as long as he has not found it, he will go from one thing to another and again to another, and he will think that life is against him. Then he will begin to find fault with individuals, conditions, plans, the climate, with everything. Thus what is called fortunate or successful is really having the right object. When a person is wearing clothes which were not made for him, he says they are too wide or too short. But when they are his clothes, he feels comfortable in them. Everyone should therefore be given freedom to choose his object in life. And if he finds his object, one knows that he is on the right path. So yeah, this is a great one. Um, you know, really talks about um, everyone having their own vocation and vocation being, you know, uh, something that they strive for, right? Something that really calls to you, um, you know, something that a, a vocation is kind of like an invocation, right? You're invoking something um, or vocating something uh, that um, that has meaning to you. So every, every being has a definite uh, object or subject or something in life that is meaningful to them and uh and that they're striving to achieve or to realize or to actualize or or to experience and um that vocation becomes a light and uh that illuminates your life and i can relate to that i i um you know for years wanted to be a musician and that was the that was the light that lit my way right um that uh vocation was really the light that illuminated my life and um you know still to this day very much uh it is a light in my life uh that illuminates it and um then you know getting into the sufi path and these teachings um i had a, a clear vocation that i wanted to teach and that i wanted to lead others and guide others and uh be uh, of service to humanity through through the the uh, sharing of these teachings and um, that has been also a light that has been illuminating my life. Uh, and to disregard your vocation is a lamp unlit, right? So uh, the second part I've done as well. Um, I There was a good period of time when I just kind of put music aside and didn't really work on it, didn't really strive for anything and didn't really know what, you know, trying to find my way with it again, kind of. And um, that uh, really had me as a lamp unlit for a long time. Uh, and then also with these teachings and the things that I'm trying to do with opening a, a center here in Los Angeles and getting some things off the ground, um, there's been a lot of 
things that I've allowed to get in my way and slow me down or take my focus away from uh, from doing this. My, my job, not my vocation, but my job uh, has uh, made it really difficult for me to uh, really give in uh, 100% to my vocation, which is is to share these teachings and inspire others through through uh, spiritual practice and and um, music and, and expression and things like that. So I can really relate to this one a lot, and you know, and I'm in a position now where you know I've been in my current industry uh, for. I don't know, seven, eight years now. And uh, it really, I really enjoyed it a lot in the beginning and really uh, got a lot of joy from doing it. But it's just lost its luster for me these days. And uh, it's not, uh, it's not as enjoyable as it was in the past. And um, it, it just run very differently. Um, it's lost its, um, its focus on bringing people together as a culture. And it's become very corporate and very uh, money grab and, um, commodifying a, a healing plant um, is not really uh, something that I really stand behind uh, it, it, in the way that I did in the beginning. So, you know, it's just uh, one of those things. So uh, I've been really, uh, really tapping into my vocation more lately, uh, sharing these bolasakis every day, uh, being able to kind of spread a little bit of wisdom here, uh, trying to pull a class off when I can. Uh, do some things online or in person, whatever, whatever's capable, but, uh, you know, not putting it off anymore. I'm just really, really going for it. Uh, so that's why you see me on here every day and same with music. You know, I've had some opportunities to kind of get into some different things and start writing again and start collaborating with others. And rather than sitting around trying to always do my own thing and write the deep cuts or put a band together, um, it's fun to just to write music and to share and collaborate and do different things. So, yeah, you know, um, if I wasn't doing those things, I would be that lamp unlit uh, because I would just be going through the motions, doing my day job and not feeling the fulfillment in life that I that I need to feel. Uh, but uh, no, this is a this is a really great one today because it really it really encourages you to find your object in life, to find your purpose and to find out what it is. And to me, I think I've clearly defined it over the last few years that um, I'm here to help people find their note in the symphony of the universe and help them to fine tune that note and to learn how to really play it and express it with with uh, great intensity and passion. And, um, you know, that can be interpreted a lot of ways, but that that's in a nutshell what I'm here to do. So hopefully uh, uh, some of these things inspire you and help you to find your note and help you to stay in tune where uh, you can uh, loudly and proudly share your note with the world. So uh, there you have it, my friend. That's today's bowl of sake, and I will be back again tomorrow with another. Have a good night.